Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a deep dive into the tech giant Apple and explore some of the products that didn't do so well for Apple in the history. While Apple is known for their innovative and groundbreaking products, they did have some failures throughout their history. And in this video, we're going to discuss the top five worst Apple products of all time and see what went wrong. So sit back and relax and let's get started. The first one on our list is Apple Pippin. In 1996, Apple released the Pippin, which was a game console that was intended to compete with consoles like the PlayStation and Nintendo 64. However, it was an expensive product, an underpowered machine that failed to capture the attention of the consumer. The Pippin only sold around 42,000 units worldwide, making it one of the biggest flops in Apple's history. One of the reasons why the Pippin failed was due to, as I mentioned, its price point. It was very expensive, which made it difficult for the consumers to justify the purchase. Additionally, the console's library of games was very limited and the machine lacked the processing power to compete with its rivals. Next one on our list is Apple III, which was released in 1980 and was meant to be a business computer. However, it was plunged with problems from the very beginning, including overheating, crashing, and data loss, etc. The Apple III was very expensive as well, making it difficult for businesses to justify this purchase. One of the main reasons why this product failed was because of its design. The computer had a unique case design that made it difficult for repair or upgrade. Also, the Apple III lacked compatibility with a lot of popular software applications, which was difficult then for businesses to adopt because of these reasons. Next on our list is Macintosh Portable. The Macintosh Portable was released in 1989 and one of the first portable computers that Apple had on the market. It was extremely heavy, extremely expensive as we all can expect, and also had a poor battery life. It also had a small screen and was very difficult to use on the go for consumers. One of the reasons I think why this product failed was because of the, the weight. The computer weighed in at a whopping 16 pounds, which made it very difficult for people to carry around. Also, the Macintosh Portable was very expensive as well, which made it out of reach for a lot of consumers. Next on our list is Apple Newton. Apple Newton was a personal digital assistant that was released in 1993. It was meant to be a revolutionary device that could recognize handwriting and convert it into text. It had a lot of problems, including poor handwriting recognition, a slow processor, and it had a, a heavy price tag as well. It was quickly replaced by the more popular Palm Pilot. One of the reasons why the Apple Newton failed was due to the, the price again. The device was extremely expensive, which made it difficult for its consumers to justify the price. And also, the handwriting recognition software was not very accurate, which made it frustrating to use for the consumers as well. Next on our list, and this might surprise you or might not, is the Apple Maps. It was released in 2012 and was meant to be a competitor to Google Maps. However, it was riddled with errors and inaccuracies. It misspelled cities, misspelled landmarks, and gave incorrect directions, what not. It was so bad that the Apple CEO Tim Cook at that time issued an apology and suggested that the users should try other mapping applications. One of the reasons why I think Apple Maps actually failed was due to the rushed development. Apple had ended its partnership with Google Maps and they had to create a mapping app from the very scratch. This led to a lot of errors and inaccuracies that were not caught before the release. Also, the Apple Maps lacked a lot of features that made Google Maps popular, such as public transportation directions, etc. While Apple had a lot of successes, these products serve as a reminder that even the big tech companies can have their fair share of failures. And by examining what went wrong with these products, we can gain insights into the importance of quality design, testing, and innovation. While these products may have failed, it is actually important to remember that Apple has had a lot of successful products as well that have changed the tech landscape overall. The iPhone, the iPad, the MacBook are just a few examples of some of the products, some of the revolutionary products that have revolutionized the industry and all of these products are also by, by Apple. As we look into the future, it'll be interesting for us to see what Apple has for us in store. The company is known for its innovation and willingness to take risks. With the release of new Apple products like the watch and the AirPods, it is clear that Apple is still pushing boundaries and striving to create new and exciting products. What do you think about the list of the worst Apple products that we've shared? 
Do you agree with our with our choices or do you have other products that you think should be on this list as well? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content just like this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel again, do subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.